so we're back again with now another NBA 2K18 My Team gameplay, and you guys can see the title, and you can see I'm hyped because we are using none other than the Diamond Kevin Durant. Like I said last week, Diamond Tracy McGrady is the most excited I've been to do a gameplay for a card for a while. Kevin Durant just took over that place. Because first of all, the card design is super nice. He's 400 cap at the moment, 98 overall, 6'9", 99 on offense, 99 on defense. Then he has 98 driving layup, extremely good post scoring stats with the 96 post fade, 98 draw foul, 99 across the board for mid-range scoring, and then 98 across the board for three-point scoring, 95 free throw, 97 ball control on a small forward. Really good passing and then really good rebounding. And the surprising thing is, really good defense for Kevin Durant. Because 2K usually don't give him the best defense, but I really like this one with 96 lateral quickness, 85 block, 88 steal. And the thing I'm super excited for is the combination of his three ball and his dunking because he has 80 standing dunk, 96 driving dunk, and 95 contact dunk. Also 96 speed, 93 speed with ball, which is crazy good for a small forward. 96 excel, 95 vertical, 98 stamina. Those stats, like, I was almost running out of breath for how good they were. And then you can see the driving dunk tendency is at 95, and that's extremely good. The system proficiencies are super nice across the board. And I was reading the stats, and I was just amazed. But then he has nine Hall of Fame badges to go with it. And I think these are quite possibly my favorites. He has relentless finisher, acrobat, catch and shoot, tireless scorer, difficult shots, limitless range, deep range dead eye, mid range dead eye, and corner specialist. So yeah, so you guys saw that. He does have Hall of Fame limitless. And not to mention 16 goal baiters, including one man fast break, rim protector, defensive stopper, hustler rebounder, lob city passer, posterizer, and then also ankle breaker. And with me just going through those stats, I can already tell this card's gonna be an absolute monster and there's no doubt about it. Especially matched up with the team I've got right now, this card is gonna be so good. And you guys can probably tell I'm so hyped to get into this game. So yeah, I mean, let's see how Kevin Durant goes as we're about to get into this first game. And as my opponent does have an extremely good team, this should be a really good game. So let's try and play good defense on Chris Webber. And you can see he gets a speed boost and goes straight past. Paul George is just locking me up. I've got one second and he pulls that one. Probably not the best shot, but we'll give it to him again. Go baseline this time and get the dunk. And we're giving it to KD again. And he's sort of open for three. Um... Okay, KD. Going against Jerry West, who is a good defender. Going up, getting free throws. Is his free throw release nice? Yeah. And back to back, he's got them. And giving it to Kevin Durant up here. And should I take this shot? Let's actually call a pick and roll with Shaq. And hopefully we can get a wide open three out of it. Dude, I actually have the shot, but I'm taking the drive. This card's OP. Like, I can already tell he's got the exact animations that I want. And you can see with Paul George, he has to sort of come up because he knows that I can shoot the deep ones with him. And let's pump fake that and then go on the drive with the left hand. And you already know... Oh, what? He actually got stopped. I thought that was going to go in, but we'll take that with T-Mac and he'll make it. Just seeing him have those types of animations makes me so excited for the rest of the card and he makes that layout. My opponent is not missing right now. Like, I didn't really notice, but he's seriously not. And let's... What? Dude, I don't even know what to say. And he's actually inbounding now, which means he's trailing. And that's exactly what I want to see. And Scotty Pippen's on us now. We're definitely going against tough defenders. But that's what you guys always tell me you want to see with these good cards, is you want to see them go against good defenders. So this is none other than Scotty Pippen defending us, and he can't. These free throws are just cash every single time. Not going to lie, though, my defense has been so bad this game, and I do not know why. Pump fake there, going up and making that one. Oh, he's wide open. He's wide open in the corner. That was such a good pump pass too and he gets in okay that's not a good sh i don't understand these are such bad shots like i'm so annoyed with myself with the shots i'm taking right now but he's just making pretty much all of them which i can't really ask for much more and giving it out to him again that was such a bad pass but going inside going up and missing that one but that's all right we'll give it to him again Go in the post, get a pump. Oh, just, okay. Like, I'm playing really badly right now, to be honest. But this card is just bailing me out every possession. And I brought my bench on, but still left on Kevin Durant because he's been way too good. And he's not continuing that because he got blocked there, which is not good. And my defense, as I said, has been so trash. I don't know what it is. We're just giving him wide open shots every single possession. Giving it to him in here again. Going up and he's not missing that one. Can tell you that much. I really am taking some bad shots. Like, usually from three, those ones have been bad. But. I, go, I want his first assist and there it is. I do need to play just a little bit normally if I want to win this game. And Scotty Pippen, you can't defend this KD. And I'm sorry that I am cheesing, but that's just the way it goes. And on the fast break, he's not getting stopped. I thought when my bench would 
come on, my defense would improve a lot, but it definitely hasn't. We're on the drive this time, though, and KD is just scoring every time. And we've got 16 seconds. Kevin Durant, he's got difficult shots. Let's take that little moving three, and he'll make it. And as I only have one timeout remaining, because I just called them all to give him energy, we're back on the floor, and let's just go straight down and get the dunk. I just want to apologize for how cheesy this is as well, but let's take that moving shot three. He'll miss it, but we get the board, and let's... Get, okay, a standing dunk. Sort of expecting him to make that three, to be honest, but he might have another opportunity here or on the drive getting free throws. The thing that surprised me is he hasn't got an N1 on any of these. And finally, I play pretty much perfect defense and Jerry West can't stop Kevin Durant. I'm definitely finding it difficult to have Paul George as the player I'm going against, but Kevin Durant is making the most of it. And finally, I've actually got a chance to go up in this game, which is pretty crazy. Giving it to Anthony Davis there, getting a pump fake. He's on the drive, pump fake there, then go up and make it. Okay, Kevin Durant should have an easy... I probably should have just taken the three, but I want the dunk. So he does have a quick 50 points. So let's make that 53. You already know that's a bucket. I really am surprised that was lightly contested, though. I thought that was actually wide open. And let's go baseline. Jerry West just cannot defend Kevin Durant. Like, he's usually been that last line of defense, and it has not worked. A limitless three bucket. It feels like only 30 seconds ago when I said he had 50, and now he has 60. And it's still a tied ball game, so I seriously need something from him. And on the drive, it's way too OP. And although I say it pretty much every single game, I apologize about the cheese. It's just what you have to do in Supermax. And let's try and get a pick and roll here. It should actually work pretty well because I don't think you'll be able to stop it. And it worked. I'm surprised that wasn't an end one. Still, my starter's defense has been so bad. My bench has been all right, but started so bad. I see KD in the corner. He's wide open. You know he is not missing that. Okay, we get a steal. And KD, KD, catch and shoot. Let's pull it. Such a bad... Dude, he's so good. Like, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I should not be winning this game. I am playing so badly, but Kevin Durant is bailing me out every possession. Oh, KD's wide open in the corner. Pump fake that against Paul George. Up to Shaq. Back down to Kevin Durant and go inside and get the AC2 and one make it. And for point number 75, the free throw, 100%. And he there. Too no way. Are you kidding me? In the clutch, we just gave away a flagrant foul. So just like that, I was thinking, oh yeah, pretty easy W, but now my opponent has a chance to win this game. And that is not what I want. And I probably shouldn't have reached there. But D-Wade, he's not going to make this shot. We're going to end up winning. I can already tell. Let's play good defense. Let's get across there. I... I I'm going to lose. And Kevin Durant's inbound. Oh my... <sighs> I lost because of a flagrant foul. I... <laughs> Are you kidding me, 2K? And the more annoying thing is that was such good defense that he made that shot. But Kevin Durant in 20 minutes had 75 points, two rebounds, two assists, two steals, only two turnovers. And you guys saw the shots I was taking. He shot over 50% while doing that. So that's extremely good. And just under 50% from three. But trust me, I was taking some bad ones. And 100% from free throw being 13 of 13. Unfortunately, a minus one plus minus, which meant that we lost the game. But yeah, to be honest... I 100% should have won, which is crazy to think about when you just say that I was feeding Kevin Durant every single possession and taking some terrible shots and we still should have won. So yeah, now I'm going to hop into the second game where I just play normally with the team, which means I will sub out Kevin Durant and also won't take every shot with him. And this is always the real test and I'm so excited to see what it can do. So without further ado, let's get into the second game. And I found my next opponent. Please say he's got a good team and it's pretty good. So it should be another good one. So yeah, as I said, I need to play normally in this game and Kevin Durant is going to have the best shot percentage. You guys aren't even ready. So going in with Chris Webber, giving it down to Shaq, getting the easy two. Oh, Kevin Durant all the way for the dunk. The one thing I was a little bit skeptical about this card was his release as I definitely expected him to make that. But let's just catch and shoot the next one and he missed. Okay, well, I might need to chill because that was not a good shot. And I say that I'm taking good shots yet. I take that one and Chris Webber is just killing it on the boards right now. Yeah, okay. That one is in. He gets a rebound there and he's the first player out. Well, he's actually got 93 speed with ball and Shaquille O'Neal just did that. One thing I really want to try is a pick and fade with Kevin Durant. So let's get the fade to go and I think it's going to work. It actually did. We got a wide open three. Kevin Durant 
and he splashes it and he gets a steal there and i really want to pull this with him step back that was nasty can he hit it he does this card is definitely not disappointing me and we get another wide open three it's a green i think i'm gonna get another one here too yep i've got another wide open three and what's gonna happen is he gonna make it yep and i have actually called on my bench but let's get a pump fake there i was seriously about to take that but I don't know. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Let's just run to the corner. Take the three. That is so nice. That's such a good animation. And he misses. But we do get the board. And let's run up and take this moving one. Will he make it lightly contested? Yep. And you can see I've got my bench on right now. Because I'm playing normally. And that means LeBron James is on for KD. And he's getting off to a good start. And after my bench actually played so badly. I'm very happy that my starters are on. Because hopefully they can play a lot better. And Kevin Durant is on the floor too. So you already know. It is going to be better. Kevin Durant is going to be wide open. In here yeah oh what i've i was trying to take the midi and he dunked from there he's got 22 points in the normal game so far and we're just going to add another assist because t-mac doesn't miss kevin durant oh what that suck dude i don't understand this card he i i think i can say this he's the best card i've used like now that i think about it like he's bailing me out every possession i seriously do stand by that what about a little fading midi it's in Dude, like, I didn't even commentate that because that was a bad shot, and he still made it. One thing I do want to try, although I'm pretty open for a three there, is his signature drill move. So you can see it here on the wall, dang, is he going to be able to stop it? I don't know. Let's just get it again because it is pretty nice, and I don't know. Let, what should I do? Should I just get a little step? Yeah, okay. He created the space. He created the shot and missed it too, but we get another three there. That's a moving one. He makes it, and now I do have my bench on, so they're going to run out the end of this game, and Kobe's wide open for mid, and and that's already a bucket. And with the clock running down, he takes the shot there. He ends up missing. We end up winning this game by what? 47 points. And just look at Kevin Durant's stats. 14 minutes, 36 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, 14 of 26, and 8 of 17. And I know I said his shooting percentage was going to be extremely good, and that's good. But to be honest with you guys, I did take some pretty bad shots. But still, he got 36 points in 14 minutes. So yeah, just going off those two games, I can already tell I'm not selling this card. Because as I'm sitting here just thinking about how good he is, I seriously think he is the best card I've used all year. And I've used the likes of Diamond Clay, Pink Diamond Harden, Pink Diamond Yao, Diamond Tracy McGrady, but I can quite confidently say he's better than all of them. Just because the amount of times he bailed me out on possessions was actually crazy. So the question is, do I recommend this card for about 500k? And my honest answer is, I just wait one more day. Because I think 2k is bringing out some Patrick's Day content very soon, and I've got no idea what they're going to release and you never know they might release a card that's better than kevin durant which will drop his price but to be honest yes i would recommend him for 500k if you guys have that much and he is a player that can carry your whole team because you saw me score 75 points with him and i was taking terrible shots so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button two videos in today and i know this video was a little later than usual but i just had to do it because this card is a beast and i know you guys wanted to see it so smash that like button for more of these gameplays and i'll catch you in the next video Bye. Also, be sure to subscribe if you're new. There we go.